Hey, how's everybody doing today? I uh, just figured I'd shoot a quick little update here. Um, because there has been some progress made. Uh, I got two coats of primer on the rack. Um, sanded after the first coat, then the second coat of primer, and then a coat of black, as you can see here. Black, it's the same color as the front wall and the ceiling of the theater. This is uh, Bayer Limousine Leather. A lot of people have asked me. That's the blackest black that they have. Uh, this is the marquee paint, too. So it's about 50 bucks a gallon, and it goes on like, uh, it's like wood glue. It's really thick. So not the easiest stuff to work with. It, it does leave kind of a texture because it's so thick, but it's almost like plasti dipping, whatever you're doing. So it seems like it's going to be a very durable finish. Uh, this is tricky to trim around. I masked in here because uh, these cabinets weren't going to be painted. Uh, I did go around with a roller inside. I got a little uh, overzealous, so there's a little little bit of fringe in there that's not exact. More so on this side, you can see a little bit of little bit of paint over here. This is tape, so that'll be pulled off and that'll be a crisp line. But anyway, there's that. There is the top, it's still kind of wet. Um, I'll probably do a light sand with the palm sander and then a second coat on that and of course a second coat on the whole rack so that will be ready to hang. Uh, I have not done the doors yet because it's just a lot to trim around and I still haven't even primed all of them. I gotta prime the back and the sides and you know every side of these things and then you gotta sand them to get the, the kind of hairy wood splinter stuff off and then you gotta prime them again. Uh, or maybe I could just go to black after priming them once. But those are the doors, the side panels, uh, the doors. You know, there's a little door here and a door there. So anyway, uh, I got the chairs came in. So that's exciting. The backs aren't on because I got to get them through that door. And they don't fit through that door with the backs on. So no point in putting them on yet. Uh, these are Palliser. Uh, I did put it on that one just so I could sit in it and see how it feels. Feels really nice to me. Uh, they're nice and tall. And this is the 3000 grade leather but with the vinyl sides and back. So um, you get a kind of a deal when you buy the 3000 grade Broadway match they call it. So this is the 3000 grade leather. It comes in like eight colors in the Broadway series. But when you buy the 3000 Broadway, you can get a uh, match, which the sides, the stuff you don't touch, is like a vinyl uh, match. And you can't tell, especially in black, because everything's just black. Um, you get a special deal on it, and you get it for the price of the 2000 grade. So it's, it's a much better deal. But this is called the Audio, um, which is kind of my thing, being Clint the Audio Guy, right? So this one has the narrower arms. I'll show you these more when they're all assembled in the theater. But uh, you can see the arm is neck down past the cup holder. So usually the arms are six inches wide. Uh, it is three inches wide here, and then it gets wider by the cup. So it takes a little bit of width out of the whole row. Now also to take width out of the row, because I got a small room, 12 by 13 room, I did a love seat in the center. So there's no arm at all in the middle. Um, so I can still get four seats in, but I can fit it in like an 11 foot space, basically. Uh, I got, since the arms aren't narrower, two people can't share, you know, elbow space with one of these arms. So I got the wedge arms. So each person can kind of still get their elbow on there and you're not right up against the person next to you. Uh, these are power recline. Uh, they're also, it's, it's not a expensive option but it's so convenient because when you pull a lever um, you have just a couple positions back legs out and then all the way up and uh, when you're motorized you can stop anywhere in between to get comfortable so you can change your position a little bit throughout the movie and you're still going to be comfortable it's got i'm blocking the light here two switches and a USB charging. So that's kind of a new thing for Palliser. The other switch is motorized headrest, which is awesome. You can recline, but then you can bring your head back up. So you can be laying down, but your head can still be facing the screen. So that's really cool. 
Uh, the leather's nice and thick. The 3000 grade you get uh, full uh, full grain cowhide and um, it seems like it's going to last a long time. Some of the lower leathers, which not a big difference in price, again, uh, are a bit thinner and um, they're not bonded, but they're not going to last quite as long. So these feel these feel nice and uh, cushy, but also firm and supportive. So I'm pretty psyched about it. Anyway, in here uh, I did two layers of uh, floor epoxy. So this is that Bayer one part floor, floor epoxy. I think I mentioned last time. It's an echo chamber in here now, you can tell. Because uh, there's no carpet, no rugs, no sound panels or anything. There were some holes in the floor where the bar was from the nails from the anchors that held the bar in. That bar came apart in about 500 pieces when we took it out of here. But I did the uh, floor patch uh, stuff and then uh, epoxy over it. So two layers. Uh, I don't smell the glue anymore. So that was that was a concern. Um, no more glue smell. Uh, the cleats, the wall cleats for the rack, I painted black as well so you don't see them when you're sitting down here from the front. Uh, they just kind of blend into that front wall. The rack's going to be that same color, you know, that the front wall color. Um, the angle of view on this TV, I don't know if I mentioned that at, uh, at my eyeballs I measured, it's about 8 foot 10 inches. So the uh, angle of view is actually greater than 37 degrees. IMAX recommends 36 degrees angle of view, so it's perfect, really. Uh, as close as I'm sitting to this, you know, this is an ultra wide lens, so the room isn't as big as it seems here. You know, actually, the room's more like, it's more like this, <laughs> you know. Um, everybody, everybody in pictures, uh, they always say, oh, I think the screen could be bigger, like, but you don't know what kind of lens they're using. You know, if it's more like, you know, this is, this is closer, this is an ultra wide zoom, so this is closer to what the human eye sees. So it, it takes up a lot more, but it's an ultra wide so I can get more of the room in. But uh, an 85 seems like the perfect, uh, the perfect size for this space. Uh, I only have a tiny little bit to go, so it, the biggest I could ever go would maybe be 100. Uh, because the rack's right below the screen and the soffit's just a couple inches above. So uh, I don't even know if I could fit 100. That would be some careful measuring. So 85 might just be, might just be the ticket. Uh, I still have to order new surrounds because the ones I bought uh, aren't going to work. Uh, but uh, they are talking about carpet on Thursday. And if they do the carpet, um, I got that I got that really good pad. They're going to glue down the tack strips. I wanted at least 72 hours for the last coat of epoxy to dry. And that 72 will happen tomorrow. Um, so they'll be at about 80, somewhere around 80 hours before uh, <clears throat> before they put the glue down tack strips down. I hope that's enough and the heat, uh, the hot glue doesn't, uh, you know, delaminate the epoxy. Um, but uh, yeah, the smell went away. Uh, I had a, it smelled like glue and mildew to me, but uh, this stuff kind of sealed it in. Uh, also, this Bayer epoxy, people were like, oh, it's going to stink. You want to be out of your house and stuff. It doesn't actually smell bad at all. It uh, it barely smells as bad as paint. It's very, very close to paint uh, smell-wise. So, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to have a good update soon. Uh, as soon as the carpet gets in here, all that seating can get in here and set up. Uh, the rear speakers, I don't think, are going to be in uh, this weekend because I actually haven't ordered them yet and there's uh, they come from Canada and there's all kinds of trucker strikes and things going on so I doubt those will show up but I already have the fronts so I have left center right and two subwoofers running um, I think by the weekend oh the other update special thanks to my buddy Brian I used to work with him for finishing up some terminations for me we got uh, 
the the four subwoofers here and the ethernet um, he tied these all up so the carpet guys can work um, just tucked up some of those into the wall this I needed a four four port faceplate uh, paint still wet here I need a, a four port faceplate I swear I bought one but I can't find it those are all tied up so I ordered another one that came in today and then I forgot it at work so uh, I'll bring that home tomorrow and pop those in so that'll be all finished uh, all right well it has been fun. Uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.